Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho, back with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about the Fio K7 Pro and why this is an easy recommendation. Now, honestly, at $200, there's tons of DAC amps on the market. I asked myself, like, what does this do different from everything else? And the only thing I could really think of is that, look at this box. This is a nice, shiny RGB box. It looks really great. And look at this dial. It has a just gigantic RGB ring and looks good. Like honestly, that's like one of the reasons why I think this is a good device because it looks good. The second reason why I think it's a good device is the actually the usability of the buttons. It, all of this has manual buttons. There's no digital kind of screen or anything to fumble with. It's very, very easy to use. But honestly, it sounds great. The usability and the looks is what makes it stand out from the other devices that I've used. And that's why I think it's an easy recommendation. But we'll talk about all the other stuff in more detail. And as always, please like and subscribe down below. Help my videos out. And of course, thanks for APOS Audio for sending the VO K7 to, for me to review, and as well as sending the K9 Pro for this comparison between really, you know, what do you get from you know upgrading to a $850 DAC amp? So if you wanna see that comparison, we'll have that today too. And yeah, anyways, let's jump into the video. So looking at the Fio K7 Pro, starting from the top, this is really a metal construction, nicely machined. It sounds really good. The build quality is really nice. It's heavy. It kind of you know sits on your desk well. It doesn't take up too much space width-wise, but it is a little bit longer. And yeah, I think overall the build quality is really, really nice. We have different inputs. So you have USB, optical, coaxial, and line in. So you can kind of cycle through them clicking the input, which is really easy. Then we also have, you know, this volume dial that kind of changes color as you can see, which I think looks really, really cool. I think Fio does that really well. I think it just stands out. Maybe just because I like my RGB type of stuff, but I think that's cool. It has all these switches too. Like I like how everything is just switched. It's not a digital dial. It just makes everything kind of really easy to change. And then over here we have the outputs. So we have PO, which is basically your front input. So you can adjust your volume through your headphones right here. We have pre, so you could use it as like a pre um, amp. And essentially you could change the volume on this as it delivers the power to your amplifier. And then you just have normal line out, which means it's just feeding straight like maximum power through the back. So you have that different modes. Taking a look at the back of this device, it's really nothing special. We have RCAs right here, so you have your line in and then your preamp or your line out. Then you got coaxial, optical, your USB, and then your power. So yeah, pretty easy device. Now, one thing about this device that I don't like it's, is this is supposedly a balanced DAC amp, but it doesn't have any balanced outputs. Now, if I had to guess the reason why is because there's simply not enough space in this device to have balanced outputs, but it's just something that worth noting that you don't have the ability to kind of pass out balance if you wanted to connect this into a, another amplifier. So we have the K7 right here. Then we have the Fio K9 Pro, which is $850. So it's a lot more expensive than the K7, but it's definitely an upgrade. And then we have the Uno, which is $79, right? So sound quality, right? right? So what are you getting when you go from the Uno to the K7 Pro? What I'm hearing is, you know, more better balance, I guess, devices are of better left and right or bigger kind of wider sound stage. Like it sounds noticeably wider than the Uno is something I notice. It also has better, I guess, 3D depth to it as well. So the kind of information is just better and wider in my opinion, which really makes the music, in my opinion, sound a little bit more realistic, as well as all the elements are kind of played a little bit more detail too on the K7 Pro. So in my opinion, the K7 Pro is definitely worth an upgrade from the Uno. Now, moving to something like the K9 Pro, what do you expect? You get even wider sound, better separation, in my opinion, than even the K7, but you're getting honestly a whole nother level of detail in my opinion on the k9 pro like the k9 pro is probably one of the best acts i've ever heard and you're getting kind of a mid-range that i've never heard before and trouble that sounds so crystal clean and clear that i haven't heard it any better on any other dax i've ever tried so for me the k9 pro is really kind of like the ultimate dac that i've heard and to me it's definitely worth the price but 
Obviously, the price difference is huge. I would only go for the K9 Pro if you're looking for like the best thing ever and you don't want to worry about, you know, I guess upgrading later. This obviously comes with a more powerful amplifier section as well and it's fully balanced with the more ports and it also has outputs in balance too. So this definitely comes with a lot more with it, but it's also, you know, a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, and a little bit heftier, but you know, I think the K9 Pro is really worth the price. But for me, the K7 Pro is definitely a good alternative if you don't really want to strut that amount of cash on something like this big boy, right? Another thing worth noting is this does not have Bluetooth while this also has Bluetooth connection as well. So you're getting some more features with this device as well. So in conclusion, do I recommend the Fio K7? I definitely do. Like I said, it looks really good. I think the looks stand out a lot. The usability is also really good. Like the buttons, like I said, they're all kind of physical buttons, so it's easy to change them all. And it is a balanced DAC amp, so it has the balanced 4.4 Pentacon, which is a port I really like to see inside of DACs and amps. The only thing, like I said, that this doesn't have is it does have a balanced output. So if you wanted to connect this to a balanced amplifier, you couldn't do that. But besides that, I think this is a good device and then I recommend it. Anyways, Please like and subscribe down below, help my videos out, and I'll see you guys next time for more audio reviews. Bye.